Our old chum, Jose Mourinho, what's happening with him? Fenerbahce manager, mm-hmm. he's in Turkey now, Fenerbahce manager Jose Mourinho says he was the, quote, disrespected one after being made to wait 70 minutes for a news conference after the Istanbul derby, which saw his Fenerbahce lose 3-1 to Galatasaray. <coughs> Mourinho, none too happy about it. First of all, in um, 24 years of football, I never in my life escaped from a press conference, especially after a defeat. The game finished. I congratulate the opposing coach. I went direct to the flash interview. And then I was 70 minutes waiting to go to the press conference. I tried to go. I was not allowed to go. I was in the door of the press conference, trying to go. I was not allowed to go. You finish the game, you go to the flash. And then you wait 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, and the away coach goes. Uh, 70 minutes, I'm sorry, but it's lack of respect. So if anybody felt disrespected, I am the one that felt disrespected. He was the disrespected one. It's classic Mourinho, isn't it? It's but what, deflection. But he, he he must be answering something, Jim, before you go off wading into Mourinho. He must be if anyone if anyone felt disrespected. So was there something that he said in the press conference that someone said that's disrespectful, and then he's coming back by saying, "Well, I'll tell you what disrespect looks like. It looks like keeping me waiting for seventy minutes." Is that the context? Is well, it- I, I think Galatasaray's coach said that he had been disrespected by Mourinho. Well, there you are then. Uh, shock, shock, horror. So then Mourinho stepped up and said, no, hang on, I'm the one that's been disrespected. Well, there you are then. I had to wait 70 minutes. But the fact of the matter is this, Jose wouldn't be going down this route if Fenerbahce had beaten Galatasaray 3-1. Or Galatasaray, if- these two hate each other, Gal- Galatasaray well, yeah. and I mean, Fenerbahce. I mean, as soon as the bloody flag in the middle of a pitch. Right. right. So we know the rivalry between these clubs yeah. and we know the attitude and the, and, the, and the fanaticism that goes with the support. So was he kept waiting for 70 minutes? Can you imagine... If Alex Ferguson had been kept waiting for 70 minutes in a press conference to go into... I mean, he bans after bleeding journalists anyway. Mm. Can you imagine if Ferguson, what he'd been saying? Mm. So why was he kept waiting for 70 minutes? And the context of a co- another coach accusing him... First of all, they're not mates. They don't have to be mates. And all this disrespect nonsense. You know, put some respect on his name. All that rubbish, right? You don't have to respect people if you don't particularly like them. You have mm. to respect the principles of what they do. And he turned around and said, congratulations to the Galatasaray coach for the result, right? So where's the issue here? I d- I d- you're looking, I you're looking to load your guns against Mourinho. No, I'm not looking to oh, do yes, anything you are. here. You're positively uh, salivating. I, I looked at the I looked at the scoreline. I thought, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, nothing looked, that I didn't think the, was going to happen. Shut up, you! You um, haven't followed. You haven't been following Fenerbahce this season. They've been doing quite well. Oh, they've been doing all right. But the the, the first time they meet someone that they're maybe not expected to beat. They don't beat them. Oh, it's the Southgate principle, is it? It's, it's the Southgate <laughs> principle, isn't it? <laughs> okay. um, the the very team that they they have to beat. They, they couldn't be. Yeah. They get done by. Yeah. But here's the thing. Why do you always, in the early days of um, who's next for England, and you said whoever it was from the FA should find Jurgen Klopp, get in a room and don't come out until you've got your signature. Yeah. Why do you not say that about Josie? Well, I have said about Josie Mourinho being an England manager. Well, you've touted Mourinho for England? I have said that previously. I have said that. I've Still? Got, yeah. I Still? Better than what we've got, yeah. I think Mourinho, whether you like his personality or not, has orchestrated success in most of the clubs he's been to. Um, you know, in recent times... Is he not too chaotic for England? Well, that's the reason why we won't get it. Because his personality is bigger than that of the FA. Which no, is, I'm asking which, you, which never is mind difficult, the FA. Because the Garden the... Radish is bigger than the personality of the FA. <laughs> it's then we've got to make the decision. Granted. You want but... big... I mean, do you want... I personally come from a different cloth. I want people that are big personalities. That I don't care if they're bigger personalities than me and better than me at what they do. Because yeah, that's what that... I want them to be in the first place. But that can bring a circus... Well, depends. And Josie brings a circus. Well, does he bring a circus? He brings he brings a certain style of management. They and he brings three a one. Style of Had attention. they won 3 1, you bet he'd been more than happy but, hanging about for but, 70 minutes. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. And they're all the bloody same. Mm. So he, Mourinho's cut from the same cloth. They've all got tickets on themselves and they all think they're more important than they actually are. But the point is, is that is that the question of Mourinho, would I see him would I like to see him as England manager? I'd like to see him in the consideration for it. Um of the two, if I was choosing now, I'd probably go Klopp because I think he's more dynamic than Josie is right now. But I've always been a fully paid-up member 
of an admiring society of Mourinho. I've been critical of him. I think he let himself down at United. I think he should have lived in Manchester rather than commuting or staying yeah, in Lowry. Yeah. I think that some of the things he said have been unnecessarily dark and sometimes he hasn't been where he needed to be. But I think as a manager, I think he's unique. I think he broke the mould and I still think he's top draw. Still, to, still think he's top well, draw. Everyone else, everyone else seems to think he... I mean, OK, I do think he's working his way down. Are you top draw and you end up managing in Turkey? Albeit well, Fenerbahce? Well, I do think he's working his way down. So I do, nothing lasts forever. No one stays in situ forever. So I think the fact that he's still getting big, big so jobs. So why should that entitle him to go back to England? To the England job. To the England job. Because we're prepared to take PE teachers as England managers these days. <laughs> that is so harsh. Good luck, Lee Carsley. That's probably the one and only time I'll ever see that. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.